Gadolinium, atomic number 64, is a very interesting element. It is a rare earth metal within the lanthanide series, named after the Finnish scientist Johan Gadolin. It's a silvery gray metal that oxidizes rapidly to a black coating uh, in air. If you pass a magnet over these rare earths, you can see that gadolinium is the most strongly attracted to the magnet. I think it's fun to see how these gadolinium chunks like to hang around a neodymium magnet. For my wall display of elements, I've used small neodymium magnets and steel washers to hold my sample containers. Gadolinium is one of only four elements that are so strongly magnetic that I can place them directly on the display. The Curie temperature, named after Pierre Curie, is the temperature above which a material becomes much less magnetic. Gadolinium's Curie temperature is unusual in that it's very close uh, to room temperature. To check this out, I looked at how close this magnet needed to be to attract gadolinium at room temperature and also when it was chilled with ice. You can see the chill sample was much more strongly attracted to the magnet. Iron, which has a much higher Curie temperature, showed no difference in attraction when, between uh, room temperature and when it was chilled. Because of its magnetic properties, gadolinium has found an important use as a contrast agent in magnetic resonance imaging. Here you can see gadolinium contrast agent used in the detection of stroke-related brain damage. To avoid toxic effects of gadolinium, intravenous contrast agents always link gadolinium with other elements. Researchers are even looking at incorporating gadolinium into carbon nanotubes and carbon fullerenes to increase safety. Gadolinium can be used in cooling to very low temperatures. This is because gadolinium strongly exhibits something called the magnetocaloric effect. When placed in a strong magnetic field, what can be thought of as tiny magnets inside gadolinium align and the metal heats up. If that heat is allowed to dissipate, the gadolinium cools. If the magnetic field is then removed, the magnetic alignment is disrupted and the gadolinium cools to a temperature lower than its original temperature. This heating and cooling can be used in a refrigeration cycle and may someday even be used to increase the energy efficiency of home refrigerators. Gadolinium is also used to slow down nuclear chain reactions. This is because the nucleus of gadolinium absorbs neutrons better than any other stable element. When a uranium atom absorbs a neutron and splits into two smaller atoms, neutrons are given off and go on to split other uranium atoms in a chain reaction. Gadolinium can absorb some of these neutrons and slow down the chain reaction. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other Science for Man videos.